What's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and we have another example chart today after discussing the series on aspects and if you have not watched the videos earlier then please go and watch otherwise you might not understand what I am speaking in this video okay and if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and share these videos with your friends and family okay and before beginning, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will be there. So today we have the example of a person who is by profession a sports journalist. Okay, This is the horoscope of a girl who is born in Assam and she had done her bachelor studies in architectural engineering which deals with design of homes and buildings okay and then she had an inner passion inner calling for doing something related to journalism and she was exclusively interested in domain of sports and finally she realized that she had to take this as her life path as a life and soul as a career means okay so we will discuss on the different combinations that lead to this and we will also discuss the overall chart where is the flow going okay now first things first as i say who is sitting in the ascendant well jupiter is sitting in the ascendant who is jupiter here jupiter is the ruler of the fifth house and the ruler of the eighth house okay where mercury is placed okay so and moon is there and Rahu is in the fifth house. Remember, this is the first house. This is not the fifth house. This is number sign Leo, number five. But this is always the first house. Now, Jupiter is in the first house. So, Jupiter has directional strength. Okay. So, this brings a lot of auspiciousness into the life of the native. Okay. And she is a very good person. I know her personally. And she is very helpful by nature. At the same time, because she is a Leo ascendant, there that is typical of Leos that there's a bit of a bossy nature and a desire to speak about herself. Okay, <laughs> speak about how great she is, or how great her family is, or how great her lineage is. Okay, and this house number five is the first house is ruled by the sun because Leo is ruled by sun. So the Lord of the Ascendant is going into the 7th house, okay? The Lord of the Ascendant has gone to the 7th house. Now what is 7th house? 7th house is marriage, relationships and also public platform, okay? Because it is directly opposite of the Lagna. This is the first house which is known as Ascendant or Lagna and this is the 7th house. This is you and this is your partner, okay? Now, the life focus of this native will be towards showing herself to others, okay? This is very good for industries like journalism because journalism is one of the air signs, okay? It is comes under the Kama Trikon. For example, 3rd house, 7th house and 11th house, okay? Are under the areas of journalism because they deal with communication and other people and reporting things from here there okay now because she's a Leo ascendant with Sun in the seventh house this shows that her life focus will be towards showing what she's doing to others okay and this can give a lot of flashy nature and uh, very much interest in showbiz and uploading self too many selfies also which she is a victim of unfortunately Anyways, now, Jupiter from the first house will aspect the fifth house, the seventh house and the ninth house, okay, which is very good. Now, it is also the lord of the fifth house, okay, which means that the moment she has children, children will come and sit on her head, okay, which also means that they will demand a lot of time, attention, energy, efforts, okay. And it is also the eighth house of transformation okay the lord of the eighth house jupiter is sitting here so the moment she gets children or married okay because jupiter is also the significator of the husband okay traditionally although these days we take venus because women are not searching for men who are like jupiterian 
people they are searching for more who are like venus okay so the moment she has childbirth she can likely increase her weight because jupiter is also the significator of fat and she will undergo some major transformation in her life okay some uh people will say that you have changed inside as a person okay because the eighth lord is sitting in the first house and eighth lord is transformation and lagna is your whole life so your whole life will be transformed okay of course everybody's life is transformed when there are there is a birth of a child but in this case it will be drastic okay because it is the eighth lord in the lagna and also the fifth lord okay and it is the natural significator of children okay and fifth lord also signifies children okay now so the aspect of children will be very prominent okay and the lord of the ascendant is in the seventh house so she will have to balance so children and outer world now she has k2 in the 11th house of friendship network circles and money okay now i have asked her about her friend circle and she says that i have a very great friend circle okay so what does it mean wherever ketu sits it will try to cut some part of that house okay so now 11th house is elder sibling she doesn't have a elder sibling so that possibility is ruled out and she has and it is also the house of friends and surprisingly she has a lot of friends and she gets well along with them okay so which is an indication to me that the place where ketu will throw its effects is in the areas of money okay that means wherever ketu sits you might have to bow okay in your life because of the matters of that house so which clearly tells me that in the matters of money and finances she will have to in some point in her life she will have to bow down herself okay in front of somebody she has to break her ego and she has to be humiliated because of money okay and from there it also aspects the seventh house of marriage okay and sun is the significator of the father and also the lord of the ascendant so because and sun is also the significator of the self it is the natural significator of the first house so there can be situations in her life when she might feel as if she has to give up things okay because ketu strips you from things and people may leave her and whatever initiative she takes one day she might feel oh this is not working then maybe i have to change it okay so the aspect of ketu which is forcing her to be detached from things will be one of the biggest lessons which she has to learn okay and also rahu from the 5th house is aspecting the lagna so whenever rahu aspects the lagna uh, the person will be facing situations in his life where he or she will be cheated unfortunately okay and she and because this is also the eighth lord of transformation and it's the lagna itself so she will undergo a lot of transformation okay she will be very severely and heavily aff affected when this rahu which is cheating affects her okay of course everybody gets affected but in this case it will be very drastic okay she might not be able to trust anybody after being cheated by somebody okay now what's next now see the thing about sports is we take the significator as mars and saturn so here mars is exalted in the sign of capricorn okay so she has a lot of interest towards sports and things that involves burning the body energy okay and it is also with saturn so mars and saturn are both significators of sports because uh, one represents the passion and another represents discipline okay so here mars and saturn are both placed in the sign of capricorn so saturn is placed in its own sign which is fabulous and mars is exalted here okay and mars is the ruler of the 4th house and the ninth house it is a yoga karaka planet for this ascendant we will discuss about yoga karaks later but yoga karak simply means up if a planet rules one of these four houses angular houses and one of the trinal houses this two okay then the planet becomes extremely auspicious so now this yoga karaka mars because it is ruling fourth house which is one of the kendra and ninth house which is one of the trines okay 
is a yoga karaka and it is in exaltation in Capricorn. And it is with the third Lord Venus and the tenth Lord Venus. Okay, so Venus is ruling the tenth house because number two is Taurus, is in the tenth house, and number seven is Libra, is in the third house. Count like this one, two, three, third house, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tenth house and third house. Third house is what? Communication, journalism. Okay, and tenth house is your primary work, primary karma in this life. Okay. What you end up doing ultimately so venus is placed in the sixth house with mars which is exalted and saturn which is in its own sign okay so you can clearly see the aspect of journalism from the third house and the aspect of primary karma coming into the sixth house okay and it is with an exalted mars and saturn which signifies sports so journalism and sports is signified by this okay now coming to the other planet which represents journalism is mercury okay now mercury is in the eighth house and some classics give this a very good position for wealth and money okay because from there it aspects the second house directly with its seventh aspect second house is what the house of money okay and only thing is mercury in the eighth the person can have some gains in money suddenly out of nowhere unexpected gains okay so that is it from my side in regards to sports and sports journalism okay and because this is the fourth lord okay and the ninth lord mars okay so this can show support from the side of our parents which they always do to her regardless of whatever she decides okay so she will have full support of her mother which is the fourth house lord and the ninth lord of father okay because it is in its exaltation sign in capricorn now regarding uh, relationships and marriages etc of this native well Rahu is in the fifth house of love and romance. So she is being obsessed. Rahu represents the Muslim group because Rahu is considered to be the Yavan as per Parashar Muni. Okay. Yavanas are those who eat cow flesh okay, and other animals. And that is why Rahu is considered to be Muslim sometimes. Or Muslims are considered to be Rahu. <laughs> So, fifth house is the house of love and romance, okay. So, she is uh, madly in love with a Pakistani cricketer. Of course, the cricketer is already married. <laughs> and he has retired also now. Uh, but she's still in love with him and that is why she says to me that uh, this cricketer is so handsome and after seeing him, I don't feel as if anybody is handsome like him. So, because of this, she is always being single from the time she's been born, okay? Now, uh, this, uh, because of Rahu's placement in the fifth house of romance, she is having affection towards this Muslim cricketer, or Pakistani cricketer, otherwise. Ra Rahu is also people from different countries, right? <laughs> now, what is this? This is the sixth house. Now, first of all, we check the 7th house, okay? What is the 7th house? 7th house is the house of marriage. Now, sun is sitting there. What, if, what does sun do to the 7th house? Wherever sun sits, it sometimes burns the significations of that house, okay? So, which means that the person is not able to see things clearly because sun is a very hot planet. It's a very bright planet. You cannot see anything, okay? So, either the person who she ends up with can be from a royal family or from a royal heritage because son is sitting there he can have some big post in the domain of government or he can be from a big family rich family wealthy family who has connection to government royalty etc and at the same time this can also mean that the person is too picky about choosing somebody okay they want a perfect person who is like the sun who always shines on time and goes down on time okay which is not possible so this can mean there's a delay in marriage and this can also mean 
that the person does not want to compromise because son is the self okay and it is in the house of marriage the house of compromise and love which means you only love yourself you don't want to compromise you cannot listen to the other person of what he likes or what he dislikes so this means trouble in marriage okay and the lord of the seventh house which is saturn although it is in own sign it is in the sixth house sixth house is what it is the 12th from the 7th house. So 12th house is the house of laws. So the lord of the 12th, uh, 7th house is sitting in the 12th house from itself which is the 6th house. And because 6th house is 12th from the 7th, so 7th house is the house of sexuality and 12th house is loss of sexuality. So that is why it is the house of celibacy of monks. Okay. So this uh, is not a very good indication here. And also the natural significator of relationships, Venus, is in the Maranakarak position. Maranakarak means it. every planet has some uh, houses where it actually dies, okay, almost, because of the predicament of that house and its relationship with that house. Now, uh, Venus is placed in the sixth house of celibacy, which means that the uh, spouse of this person might force her to practice celibacy which simply means in today's day and age that the person may not stay with uh, her or he might have to go somewhere or they can get separated or anything of that sort and as if this was less it is with mars and saturn so it is kind of a war zone which is there because saturn and mars are uh, the uh, arch enemies of each other and they do not support each other's agenda okay although here mars is exalted so those if effects will be reduced but ultimately it is mars and it is saturn ultimately and it is also the house of celibacy okay and because of saturn and venus sitting together there will be delay in her marriage or she might have difficulty trusting people or she might be coming into contact with people who are much more et mature than their age okay who look bit uh, like a very mature person <laughs> okay and uh, because of mars there will be a lot of fire and passion and romance in the beginning and then because of saturn saturn represents the snow saturn is cold okay and then eventually the things can become very dry and very dull okay and the relationship can become difficult to uh, difficult to continue so i i have suggested this girl that uh, be very careful when you choose somebody okay because the k2 from the 11th house also aspects the 7th house of marriage okay which means that uh, the person can end up uh, the spouse can end up making her feel very lonely within the marriage okay and as if this was less son is also there now the another planet which is in a precarious state here is moon okay it is devoid of any benefic aspect okay on the other hand it is in the eighth house which is also the marna karak position for moon because eighth house is the house where moon suffers terribly and as if this was less this is aspected by saturn with its third aspect one two three okay so this is a significator of depression too much processing over processing mercury is intelligence moon is emotion so too much over processing here okay so always thinking of the worst case scenario whenever nothing is there there to think okay and too much processing on what will happen and what will not happen rather than focusing on the present okay and it is devoid of any benefic aspect like jupiter or any other planet okay and the only good thing is it is in the sign of Pisces so the mother of this girl is very good and very selfless okay uh, at the same time uh, her emotional stability she herself tells me that <laughs> it is in doldrums most of the times okay so she has to learn to stabilize herself and thereby uh, improve herself internally through spirituality because jupiter is in the first house in directional strength so this can do a lot of benefit to her if he takes into if she takes into some form of spirituality okay and that is it from my side sports journalism difficult relationships and transformation through children and at times 
11th house of money because of Ketu's placement she might have to beg to somebody <laughs> or borrow or maybe steal also beg borrow steal money okay now I know people who have Ketu in the 11th house most of the people they say whenever we meet friends they make they make us feel more lonely okay but uh, so in that case they don't suffer in the areas of money but if in her case it is not the case uh, then it is surely related to money okay so that is it from my side if you have any questions queries and comments then please let me know in the comment section okay until next time bye bye see you